Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about closing gaps in the timeline in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, let's have a look at closing gaps in the timeline. It's in the sequence menu, which should alert you to a possible problem because this will not work. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. This won't work the way you and I think it should. Let's show you when it does work, okay? So here I've got a timeline and what are gaps? Gaps are these black areas in between and I don't want them. I want to have each one of these removed. And you might think that you have to click and move each video over or click in, a, in between and delete or a lot of that. Well, if you just select all of these and in the sequence menu, ooh, close gap. This will be grayed out unless you have clips selected, but watch this, close gap, boom, everything's closed. <gasps> That's amazing, yay! So that your first thought is, I can use that anytime I've accidentally left gaps in. Can you? Let me show you what happens when I stick this little old title in between these. There's still a gap, in my opinion, it's still a gap. Let's select the same clips. The gaps go all the way down and there's a gap under the title. So sequence, close gap, and what happened? There's a gap there. Why didn't it close that gap? Why didn't it close the gap? Because this feature thinks a gap is only a gap if it's in every single track in the timeline. Mm. Even though I can do this, watch. I'll click in between here and I'll delete and I got rid of the gap. So isn't that a gap? Why doesn't the gap? It just doesn't work the way you expect it. So let's look at a more complicated timeline because sometimes it can seem like it half worked. So now that you know it only works if there's a gap all the way in, in the timeline from all of the tracks, let's look at this um, sequence. And you can see there's a gap here, there's gaps, there's, there's lots of gaps everywhere. There's a gap here that goes through all of the sequence. This gap only starts at the end of this clip and the beginning of that clip. Even though the gap is here and the gap is there, it's not really there. So let's see what happens when I select all of this. Go back to sequence, close gap, boom. It looked like it made a mess. The only things that changed, I'll undo this, is this gap and part of that gap was changed. So I'll just keep redoing that. So if you look at what are gaps, that's a gap, that's a gap, but none, at no time do you see any black show up. It's hidden by something else on the timeline. I mean, you could manually delete these gaps and there, there are still gaps. Oops. Oh, and some of them won't. So even doing this is, is not going to get you where you want all the time. So this is obviously running into something here and getting rid of those gaps. So you might be wondering, why am I showing you something that doesn't work? I'm showing you something that doesn't work because I don't want you to think that it's your fault. Like I showed at the beginning, when it did work, your first thought is, I now know what a gap is. It's gonna close all of my gaps. You go to this more complicated timeline and lo and behold, boom, it doesn't work. And you might be thinking it's you and you might be trying to figure out what you're doing wrong. You're not doing anything wrong. Premiere Pro is doing something wrong because a gap is a gap. We know what a gap is, but the program only thinks a gap is when it's on every single track. It's unfortunate because in the keyboard shortcuts, you could actually assign a, a keyboard shortcut to close gaps yourself. And, and even crazier, look at this, in the sequence menu, go to gap, next in sequence, previous to se next in track, previous in track, who cares if you can't fix it in a track? Why are you showing me go to gap in a track? Oh boy, oh boy. Let's hope that Adobe changes this in the future, but right now 
I'm here to make sure you're not blaming yourself. Abandon this and just use regular manual good editing practices. I've got tutorials on uh, ripple editing that will uh, make all of this much, much better. Hey, if you're new to video revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us more? You can do that through PayPal. We've got great PayPal supporters. Uh, we love the, uh, our longtime supporters. Many of them have supported us for a long time. We appreciate that. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and I'm here to make sure that you're not blaming yourself for something that is not your fault.